Hello friends, today I'll be showing you how to bypass uh, a Mac password account. Okay, so in this case we have this Mac, but we don't know the password. We forgot the password. So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to shut the computer down. We're going to turn it off by a long press on the power button. Uh, and then after when we turn it off, we will need to turn it back on and press the command key plus S. Press and hold until we get into the safe mode boot system. Okay, so let's do that. Press, long press, okay. Shut it off. Uh, let's turn it back on and press control S to okay. You're gonna see some code here, let it, let it do its thing. And um, when it stops, we need to type this code. I'll be providing these links and, uh, in the description, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? And the codes, I have them right here. You're going to type slash as being slash mount space minus uw space slash and then we're gonna hit enter and we're also gonna type this code we're gonna type rm space slash var slash db slash period and we type Apple setup done. Set up done. And then we're gonna hit enter. And then we're gonna type reboot and we let it reboot. Okay? It will reboot now. And we'll give us the choice to make a new user account. So we can just log into the computer and erase the old uh user account and you don't have to worry about the files or your music It'll still be there or you could just um, erase the, uh, the password from the old user and log into that account so either way you won't lose any information okay so this is the screen right now I'm gonna fix it just give me one second so you can see it better okay so now we're gonna set up the new account and we're going to we're gonna set up the new account okay so choose your uh, country I'm in the United States. Press continue. You choose whatever country you are on. And then you press your, uh, choose your keyboard layout. And I'm going to press US because I have a US uh, keyboard. Now you can click here and it will show you more uh, keyboard layouts. But in this case, I'm going to choose a US keyboard. Okay. So we click continue. From there, we're just not going to, we are not going to uh, go log into our internet connection okay so just press continue and then we will, this window will pop up so it says are you sure you don't want to set up wifi it's okay you don't have to set it up for now continue and then we're going to continue again and then it says from how do you want to transfer information from now on, i'm not transfer, transferring anything so i'm just going to click on don't transfer any information right now and we're going to press continue and here we, when it says sign into your Apple ID, we're just gonna press up, press uh, set up later, skip it, and then we have to, uh, I guess we have to agree. We agree. Press on, click on agree. Then we click again on agree. And there you go. You have, you put your name. You, you're just gonna set up another account. Let's put, um, this case I'm gonna put Julian. It's one of my friend's computer. Julian Z1. Okay. And uh, I'm just gonna put his name, Julian, and then we put Julian C1 over here, the account name, and the password we're gonna put, um, whatever password you're gonna use, you know, you just type it and then you press continue. It says the name, it's not available, enter a different name. Okay, so we're gonna put Julian C G. Okay, in this part, we're gonna put the password, we're gonna put desired password. You put your password, you, you hit enter, 
I'm, I'm sorry, you hit continue and it will create an account for you. So here, if you want to customize it, you can do that. If not, I'm just, for this video, I'm just going to click continue and it's setting up your account. So we will have two accounts now, the one that, that we, we can remember the password and the new one that we just set up. Uh, from there, you can just um, go into the all the, the account that's, that, that you don't know the password and just erase the password or change the password. Okay, so we wait for it to set up the account. This computer is a little slow. I need to get in, into this computer so I can buy more memory, memory RAM, so it can be a little faster. But um, at the, uh, I forgot the password, and when I asked my friend, he forgot it too. So I had to do this. Uh, I had to bypass the. I had to reset the password. So and I took advantage of it, and uh, I um, I'm doing this tutorial now. Let's see. Now here, okay. So now we're gonna log off. So so just you can see there's two two uh, accounts, and we're just gonna go log off Julian Z G. So let's log out. As you can see, I have the new account uh, that I just set up, and I have this account. But this account, I don't know the password, so I'm just going to click on here, and I'm going to put my password here. I'm going to log in into this account, and from here, you can go to um, System Preferences, and then you can go to User Groups, and then you can come here and tick this, so you can um, so you can uh, e um, edit the, the, the other account. So let's put the password again. All right, and then we unlock it. So from here, you can, you're not going to delete this account. You're just going to reset the password. And from here, you're going to put the new password on the account that you forgot the password to. So this was this one. So we're just going to put the new password in there. And then we're going to reset the password. That one. And then we type it again. Okay. And then something you can pass, you can type a password hint, so something that reminds you of your password. So let's type this, and, and then I'll do, you can click on change password. So, okay, this is done, that's not much. Let's do it again. This one, and then we do this one. So we're gonna change the password. Okay, as you can see, I already changed the password. And now, you can just close this window. And we're gonna log out. And we will log out and then we can log into this account because I changed the password. So I, now I know the password. So let's see. All right. And we hit enter. As you can see, uh, I, I was able to log into the original account. And I hope this helps you a lot. And if you just want to delete the, the new account that you just set up, you can come again to settings and then, you know, user accounts. And then from here, you just untick this one, the lock. You put the password, of course, to unlock it. And from here, I think you should be able to, uh, to delete this account. So we're just going to press, um, we are logged in into Julian account and we created this Julian ZG uh, account. Oh, we can delete that. So we don't need two accounts in uh, this computer. Now we just click on the name that the, the account we want to delete and then we press this uh, minus sign. From there it's going to tell us uh, save the home folder in a disk image. Don't change the home folder. I'm just going to click and delete the home folder because I don't have any information on, on that account. So you can do that. Okay. We're just going to hit delete and then that's it. You have your only one account. So we're going to go back here. We're going to log out again, and then as you can see, so now you will only have um, Julian account so with a new password. I hope this tutorial is uh, helpful to you, and if there's any questions, just leave it in the comments below. I will be providing you the codes in the description, and uh, I hope you can make use of this video. And please like the video and subscribe if you can. That will help a lot to grow this channel and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Peace.